Hi, my name is Wendy Shoemaker, coming to you from the University Career Center. For many years now, I've helped students explore and apply for international opportunities. This is a short presentation on some of the best advice I have given to students who are interested in preparing for international careers. In this presentation, you will first explore what international careers are, including some popular myths that may be holding you back. And then I'll continue to show you some great resources to help you explore, find experiences, build your networks, and find opportunities. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So on the screen here, you can see some myths about international work, and some of these may apply to you. So for example, do you happen to think that uh, international work is only found in um, abroad settings? Or is it the case that you think that uh, international work is only for a certain stage of life? And finally, do you think that uh, only certain types of industries uh, have international work available. So let's unpack these a little bit further in the next slide. Okay, so on here you can see uh, two different ways of thinking about international careers and neither of them are incorrect. Uh, working domestically or working abroad is I would say kind of an older way of thinking about it. And it really doesn't reflect the, the realities of the workplace in, uh, in terms of the global economy or global supply chains, uh, the growth of remote and virtual work, and the prevalence of contracted work, uh, short-term projects and the freelance economies and, and some of those opportunities. So I think on the right side of the screen, this is a more reflective of the broader set of opportunities and it reflects how much interaction do you uh, have or anticipate to have with international situations or partners. So in reality, you know, blending these together gives us a much more uh, realistic understanding of international careers. It could be uh, working with international peoples domestically with a little bit of an interaction, and it also could be working abroad with full immersion. Let's unpack this a little further. And this is, on the screen here, you see some ways of, or gauges, if you will, of thinking about international work and as it pertains to you. You know, uh, this is probably a question you're thinking about, you know, where do you fit within the international career spectrum? So, uh, displacement. Let's think about that one. How well do you do when you are outside of your comfortable su surroundings? Do you have experience doing that? So when you're when the language is not familiar to you or the cultural is uh, you're outside of your comfort zone culturally, how well uh, do you are how well do you behave and how are you um, when you interact in that way? So interaction, you know, how much interaction are you hoping to have? So with international partners and communities, is it occasional or is it? full immersion. And then finally, motivation. I want you to assess your level of motivation for working with international partners and, and situations and peoples. There are plenty of opportunities around, and there, but, they, but they may not be convenient for your schedule or for your present circumstances. So a question to ask yourself is how willing and how able are you to rearrange things so that you can take advantage of those opportunities to uh, explore and connect and, and get experience. Uh, there's no right or wrong answer to any of these things, but it's just something for you to think about and reflect on as you think about where you fit. Let's, let's dive in this a little bit further here. So this is the international career spectrum. This is something I use a lot to describe international careers to, to people who are um, pondering working internationally. So those concepts that I've been talking about are really demonstrated here well on the screen. So on the left hand, you see here minimum uh, experiences or, you know, these are likely domestic or stateside experiences um, with, a, with occasional interaction with international situations or people. So it, applying that to a particular career field, and in this case, it's news and media, that would be a local broadcaster in charge of researching and reporting on international issues. All right, maybe, maybe you're interested in a little bit more interaction. Um, so that would be more of a moderate, and, and that's likely to be someone working, again, domestically or stateside, but with some international travel. So it could be someone, in this case of news and media, interacting and traveling uh, to, to, to port on certain news stories uh, about a particular region of the world. 
And then finally, Maxima, and this is probably where you're interacting daily and fully immersed, uh, probably living and working internationally. And the example used here for news and media is a regional director of a major news outlet living and working abroad. So I think that's a spectrum that really gives this a sense of the broad set of experiences that can be available to you um, working internationally or for the international careers. So the way to think about international careers preparation is it starts with small experiences. Um, as a KU student, you have lots of opportunities through your coursework, through campus engagement, uh, and, and regional experiences uh, to build skills, to develop your networks. And it, but it really starts, it's not one grand gesture, one, uh, one big move. It's really a set of small experiences to build skills and knowledges. And so I, I've highlighted them here on this, this screen here. So self-knowledge, how aware are you of your own motivations and comfort levels with working with international peoples and situations? Is this knowledge that you have gained through experiences? So remember those gauges that I was highlighting earlier, you know, how well can you answer those questions? And it's okay that you can't, uh, but it's it's good to have that sense of that maybe you need to seek out some experiences, you have a better answer. Curiosity and openness, uh, these are great attitudes to have that often could drive people to consider working internationally. And, uh, you know, they're really necessary uh, to drive our motivation to explore more, to know more, and, and put ourselves in situations where we're not the expert, where it is better to observe and, and listen and learn. Uh, intercultural communication and language skills are extremely important in the international work spaces. Uh, good skills here are driven by knowledge of cultural no norms and expectations that can be vastly different around the world. Um, so, you know, one of the best ways to learn about culture is through their language. So I encourage you to consider studying a language and continue on with your study if you are studying a language, um, if you're not already doing this. So fluency is a great goal to have, um, but your attempts to learn a language will be respected in many international circles. The knowledge of history or politics or political or the geography of a region is extremely important. Um, you know, so I would make it a habit to pay attention to news feeds and and listen to the news and, and understand parts of that world so you are informed uh, about the culture and the history and especially about your country's history with that particular region. That's very important because when you travel abroad or when you're international interacting internationally, you are representing, you know, some of the history that comes with your own culture and background. And that's important to know and understand. And then coping skills, patience, adaptability, and flexibility, even though these are separate on the screen, I'm grouping them together because these are universally human skills. But I would pose that they're important to know how you react uh, uh, when you're outside of your comfort zone. Um, you know, I think it's easy to say that you have coping skills and patience or, and, and you know, most people are adaptable and flexible, but how, are, how present or prevalent are those uh, when you are extremely uncomfortable? So those are just things for you to understand and know about yourself. All right, let's get to the, the important bit, and which is showing you some of the resources. I'm going to hit pause here while I um, readjust my, my screen. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm going to show you some resources that are really great for exploring, building your networks, and finding opportunities. And the first place I'm going to show you is career.kgu.edu. Uh, lots of great resources located here, but one that I'm going to show you in particular is the career communities. And that, uh, so there's six different career communities here. And uh, the one that I think you would be interested in is the International Professionals and Public Servants. Uh, and, and so lots of information here on jobs and internships, uh, events, workshops, info sessions, some of the certificate programs, which have their own opportunities. So these, this is what I'm talking about in terms of small experiences that build skills and knowledge and networks. Um, you can see here some upcoming things, you know, careers and foreign services is, this is a virtual event done by the International Relations Council, and I'll talk more specifically about them later, but uh, 
uh, in international professionals and public servants, that's a great place to get started. So Hire Jayhawks is another uh, place that I would strongly encourage you explore. That's a KU's resource for jobs and internships for KU students. And you already have an account. You just need to activate it, if you will, by going to this website, hirejayhawks.com. And if you update your career interests, which I have not, uh, but you should, it will uh, feed you jobs and internships in this, this area. Um, so down here, to the right, I'm going to show you particular resources that are very interesting for internationally oriented folks. Um, so myworldabroad.com is the first one I'm going to show you. So I just clicked on that and oops, uh, I'm going to go back in here. So I'm going to log in. You would just need to register your account first, okay, using your ku.edu uh, email account, okay. So then you're going to log in and I've already registered my account. So I already have a login account. Um, and this is a resource only uh, available to KU students and alumni. So you can navigate through a variety of these uh, tabs up at the top. And the one that I like to use with students in particular is the four big things. Because I think often the question is, like, what are the opportunities? Well, this is a place where you can find it. And I think this is where My World Abroad really shines. Um, so over here on the left here are some areas where you can see um, uh, some popular areas uh, for international work, uh, non-governmental organization, uh, international development, teaching abroad, international law, so on and so forth. Uh, in-depth resources, jobs and internship links, and so I highly encourage you to explore that in further detail. And remember that this is myworldabroad.com um, and then slash KU to start with your own account and then, and then bookmark it and go back and make it a habit to go in there on a weekly basis and explore. Okay, so now we're going to look at um, another resource uh, called uh, um, well, let's just go here. This is uh, going global. And again, where I got this was, was uh, hirejayhawks.com. So see here, this is going global. And it's got the, and I've already, re uh, you, you'll notice here that on the screen, it had me on my uh, login. And so this is what I encourage you to do is to create an account, which is what you saw when I first went there. And once you do that, you can uh, skip over Hire Jayhawks and you can bookmark it because you're going to want to make a habit of going in here. There's some great career guides um, in here. And uh, so I'm going to focus on some of those and I'm just going to pick on Germany. and. So in each of these country guides, there's great information on job search resources, uh, you know, nonprofit NGOs, top companies of a of a area, uh, resumes and cover letter. You know, resumes and cover letters are very cultural documents, so that's good for you to know. Interview advice. And uh, I, I, I also love the cultural advice. This is updated frequently. So it is relevant information. It's accurate information. I've talked to people who have worked uh, in these areas and they say, yes, this is very reflective of, um, this is realistic and practical information. So great resources. So again, goingglobal.com available through Hire Jayhawks, but you can access it eventually on your own if you create your own accounts, okay, which you can do. All right, let's move forward here. Um, let's go to idealist.org. And I love this website because this is a national database, actually international database um, for inter uh, nonprofit uh, positions, internships and jobs. And they've added a feature here lately that I love, which is you can search by remote opportunities, which is great. Um, so though those could be opportunities you look, you can do while you're a student, or you can do that anywhere you like, located wherever you are, okay? Um, one that I also love for students who are internationally interested is the Virtual Student Federal Service. And um, there's some, this is a great resource. I've personally known students who have interned, done internships with this, and uh, this has led to greater opportunities uh, down the road for them. And the, the hiring deadline is, you know, coming up in that um, you know, that's the July 1 through 31st is where you apply through USA Jobs. Uh, but this is where you find information around these opportunities. 
Okay, so let's go to Indeed.com. Indeed has lots of virtual internships, and this is a particular great place to look for those multinational organizations. You can find virtual internships here through these multinational organizations, especially those who are more business oriented and in those settings. Um, another one that I'm going to show you is parkerdewey.com slash career launchers. Uh, this, these are micro internships. So these are small uh, or short term experiences, you know, maybe two to three weeks for, again, a multinational organization. And this could be a great way to get your foot in the door with some great organizations uh, and get paid. Uh, for some developing experience and, and, and expanding your network. Uh, I, I mentioned this earlier, uh, the International Relations Council. Uh, this is a Kansas City uh, organization and they are doing some great things recently um, on keeping people connected who are interested in international affairs. So for example, I'm gonna highlight the digital coffee hour and these are throughout the week, and you can connect with people who have interests such as yours and, and build your network. You can do it through the comfort of your own home. Um, Careers in Foreign Service is an upcoming uh, 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 webinar on uh, that field uh, where you get to network with people. Um, the Department of State um, resident um, diplomat Amanda Johnson. A great opportunity here. And then finally, mentoring.ku.edu. This is a uh, it's right here. Uh, I've already logged in here and it's it's highlighting for me because I've already filled out my account. It's absolutely free for a KU students to do this and I highly encourage you to do that, to fill out your profile and wander around in here. You can click on these profiles. Uh, it's already found those folks they think would be fit for me based on my major when I was an undergraduate student, but you can, you can look for industries and other filters by location. Um, great way to interact uh, virtually with many people who uh, have interests similar to yours. Okay, we're back. So this is the page that we started with. And these are the resources that I highlighted. The International Professionals Career Community. This is where we started. HireJayhawks.com for jobs and internships for KU students. I also showed you My World Abroad, which was available through HireJayhawks.com, and that's a great one for career exploration. So if you're not quite sure where you fit internationally in the international careers spectrum, this I would start there at MyWorldAbroad.com. Um, Idealist, Indeed, Virtual Foreign Service, and Parker Dewey. These are great uh, experience uh, platforms to look for remote and micro internships. The Kansas City International Relations Council uh, was that organization that I showed you that has networking opportunities, CAFA hours. They have a um, great way to stay involved and stay up to date with current issues that are global. Mentoring.ku.edu is a networking platform available to KU students and alumni, and then Going Global, which was available through HireJayhawks.com. Okay, I'm just highlighting these to you so that you can bookmark these, use these at any time. Um, so if you're really curious about all this and you want to keep on exploring, I, I, I want to share with you some great study abroad experiences that are arranged through the Career Center, um, two different def destinations, one going to London, the other Germany. The London is a spring break experience. It's a week uh, abroad in London where you network with KU alumni and multinational organizations. The experience in Germany is similar uh, with networking, but this one's a little bit different and that has a, a small consulting project with a German company. So not only do you get to network and uh, connect with international people, but you also build some international skills. Uh, these are great experiences. You can see here about the website to find out more, career.ku.edu slash courses, okay? So I'm gonna finish up with uh, a plug for the Career Center. Uh, uh, you can call our the main number 864-3624 or go to UCC at, or email us at ucc at ku.edu uh, for more information. Um, we work with students in 30 and 60 minute appointments. We can help you with career planning, uh, filling out, uh, you know, helping you with a resume, look for jobs and internships, uh, help you expand your online presence, you know, your, your LinkedIn profile, 
you know, honestly, anything career related, uh, we will help you with that. So I encourage you to take advantage of this free resource to, you know, help you support you uh, with your career plans. So that's the end of my presentation today. I hope you have found it uh, helpful and I wish you the very best. Take care.